So Indra, which one you we will want to select over here? Indra's minus. Okay. So let me say so Indra. What about over here? Plus. Okay. Ah. Uh, 영화, 영화. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Plus, 영화. Minus, 영화. Okay, now we have two different. <laughs> any other suggestion? Plus, plus, minus, plus. Them. Anybody who want to vote for Yongha, raise your hand. Okay, two, four, two, four, five, six, seven. Anybody who want to vote for Indra? Okay, you gave up? <laughs> okay, our democracy says that this one is correct. So, let's eliminate this. Okay. In fact, this is correct because the pressure is the force acting normal to the surface, right? When I shout over here, woo, and your surface is vibrating, but what you feel, the pressure you are feeling is always normal to your surface. Right? It's hard to understand, but according to the definition of pressure, because we define the pressure as the force per unit area acting normal to the surface, right? So we have to, we have to uh, follow our definition. Right? What is the definition of student? Study. If you do not follow the definition of your, 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 your um, student, then what do you have to do? Huh? You are, you, you are not, you are not to be, you are, you are no longer to be student. That means you cannot attend this lecture, right? Okay. So you have to, I mean, due to the definition of pressure, this one is correct. So, Yonghua, we are very proud of you. And also we are very proud of Indra because you gave us such a nice opportunity to, to understand and to at least not forget at least not forget about the sign convention of Okay? And this is minus omega square y. Sorry, omega square m y exponential minus j omega t. Therefore, what I can write is pi plus pr those are the ampli complex amplitude of sound pressure minus PT is equal to minus omega square M. <coughs> okay, what other? Do you have a question? No? Hmm? Pardon? Oh, why? Oh, thank you very much. Dong Su. What other, uh, what other uh, boundary condition we have? Yu Chong, Yu Chong, what other boundary condition we have? Okay, 
Suppose we have two fluid particles over here. And we have mass over here. Okay, one boundary condition is unbalanced force has to move this. What other boundary condition? When we do not know, we have to go back to the, the case we do know, right? What is it? That's the string case. Okay. We have a string. The boundary condition over here was okay. Suppose I have a small particle over here and a large particle over here, and these two particles has to move with the same velocity, right? Otherwise, it will be broken. Right? You, try, you remember that, huh? Therefore, what we can say is the velocity of this fluid particle has to be the same as the velocity of this limp words velocity and as well as this fluid particle's velocity. That's the another boundary condition. So velocity of the fluid particle at the left hand side would be pi over z0. That is the velocity contributed by the instant wave and the velocity contributed by the reflected wave would be pr minus zero and the velocity is a vector quantity. So if I assume this is the velocity in this direction then the velocity of reflected one is minus direction. Okay? And that has to be same as the velocity of limp war. That is what? Capital Y minus J omega. Because this is the uh, displacement, and the velocity is the rate of change of displacement with respect to time. So minus J omega Y is the amplitude of velocity. Right, Yu Chung? You follow me, right? Yeah. Okay. And this is same, has to be same as the velocity of the fluid particle on the right hand side. And that is what? Pt divided by Z0. Okay. Okay. Sehwan, you follow me, right? Hmm? Okay, it's simple. So now we have these equations and our job is to get this thing. You want me to do to get this or we, we can we just look at our text and get the result? Let's do it together, huh? Let's do it together. Because that means, I mean, we need at least one, have one chance to derive the result by ourselves, at least in our life, in our lives. Okay, so let's do it together.